did you find the debate around soil health is polarized because you know it is here in the UK um, where environmentalism is slightly you know pitched against farmers urban versus rural communities etc so as someone who's dedicated well, much energy to understanding and teaching about the human condition and engaging also on environmental issues it would be just you know really interesting for us to get your insights see this is one thing across the world wherever I go, including arabia <laughs> where it's largely sand even there i don't have one person who disagrees who with raising the soil organic matter nobody disagrees so there is no debate about soil the debate comes in because you bring in other aspects which have economic values for different uh, groups of people but in terms of the the conflict between um, people who want to sort of go, go intensely into farming and um, not worry about the soil. I think there is a perception that it's not true that soil isn't a threat. I still think that's perception by a number of farmers in the UK. They don't believe because they just poured the chemicals on for the last 50 years and they're still doing it and they're still getting a crop. Um, that probably won't be the case in the next 10 years. So this question about how do we create a kind of shared sense of, well, not shared, but a sense of responsibility um, among, you know, everybody else, if you like, and more than responsibility, a, a sense of empowerment for those who don't have a direct relationship with the soil or even access, potentially. I, I, I'm sure we would all agree that one of the most extraordinary things is that we have an education system which is completely sunk in a, in a kind of theoretical maze where the thing that is probably the most important uh, for society to understand is that if you cannot grow stuff, you're dead. And if you can't cook stuff that you've grown, you're dead. I believe we've got to be very activist in education and get young people to really understand the magic of soil and uh, how our future really depends on it. And I'm sorry I had a bit of a rant and a rumble, but that's what I wanted to say. Thanks, Tim. Well, I can see you were um, definitely bottling up all of that and um, ready to share it all, um, which is brilliant.